Hey guys, welcome back once again. In today's session, we're going to discuss about MSAT Achieve Math Test, Algebra Part, Chapter Number 7, Exponents and Roots. So let's get started. Chapter Number 7, Exponents and Roots. In this section, we will be discussing 2 to 3 most commonly typed asked question in MSAT Achieve Math Test. So let's start with the first one. In the expression below, which of the following is a value of x? So they have given us an expression and they are asking us what is the possible value of x in this. So let me write down that as it is first. 4 to the power 2x square plus 3x which is equal to 2 to the power 5 to the power 8. So this is an exponential form. And here to solve this question, I need to apply certain rules. What are those? The first rule, actually this is not a rule, but we use while solving exponential equations of this. So generally we write it as any number to the power, let's take any number like a to the power 2x plus 1 is equals to a to the power 5. For example, in this case, a is either side, we call it as a base and these are called power or also we say it as exponent. And what we say here? Either side, if the bases are same and there is an equal sign in between, so I can equate the power. So I can write it as 2x plus 1 equal to 5. From this one, I can calculate what is the value of x. This is a general example, okay? It's not at all related with the question. So what I'm trying to say here is, if the bases are same on either side, we can equate the powers. And here you can see that x is the power of 4. And to make that in this way, I have to make out the basis to be same. So how do we make that basis to be same? If you observe it carefully, the base here is 4 and base here is 2 to the power 5 and to the power 8. So by applying the rule of like a to the power m to the power n, which is written as a to the power m times n, I can multiply this 5 with the 8 and you can write that 4 as 4 can also be written as 2 square, right? So if you replace 4 with the 2 square, then your equation becomes 2 square to the power 2x square plus 3x, which is equal to 2 to the power 2 times, sorry, 8 times 5. It's going to be 40. Now, how do we further simplify this? Power of a power number will be multiplied. So multiply this 2 with throughout this equation. Then equation becomes 2 to the power 2 times 2x square is going to be 4x square plus 2 times 3x is going to be 6x equal to 2 to the power 40. So what I got in either side, the bases are same 2 to the power something, 2 to the power something. As the bases turns to same, just equate their powers. Now it becomes 4x square plus 6x equal to 40. It turns into a quadratic. When you take this 40 to this side, then it becomes 4x square plus 6x minus 40 equal to 0, which is of the type ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. Now let's take a help of calculator. We know how to solve quadratic equation on the calculator. Take it up and use a calculator to get answer for it. So what it's going to be, I just need to press it on mode 5, 3 or any relevant uh, options based on the what type of calculator you are using. So here I'm going to go with the mode and I'm going to select the type of equation what we are solving polynomial with degree 2, which is a quadratic. Put their coefficients here. Coefficient of x square is 4. Coefficient of x is 6 and the constant term is negative 40, press it up equal, the first value what I get here is going to be minus 4, second value is 2.5. It could come in any order, okay? So I'm getting the two answers which are minus 4 and 2.5. As I say, order doesn't matter. So whichever the option has minus 4 and 2.5, I'll be selecting that as the answer. So 2.5 minus 4, we have an option C. So it may come it in terms of minus 4 comma 2.5 or 2.5 comma 4, both is right. So we go with option C here. Question number two is simplify. A cube times A to the power minus 7 times A to the power 2. So when it comes about simplifying, we need to apply the again exponential rule what it is. 
a to the power m times a to the power n when the bases are same we can add their powers add or subtract based on the sign of the power here we say a to the power m plus n the same thing you apply here so which will be written as a to the power 3 minus 7 plus 2 i'm just adding their powers which is same as a to the power 3 minus 7 plus 2 which is a to the power negative 2 so a to the power negative 2 by using the another rule a to the power minus m will be written as 1 by a to the power m which can also be written as 1 by a to the power 2. So answer to this question is C. So here most of the students might get confused why can't be B. Okay because B also seems to be an answer what I got it as a to the power minus 2. As question asking us to simplify a to the power minus 2 is an intermediate step not the final answer. As per the exponential rule something to the negative power we have to write it in this way. So that's why we are going to option C rather than selecting it as a B. So this is how the questions can be asked. Question number three is simplify the expression. So they have given us something a weird way and they are asking you to simplify. I just need to follow the basic rule of exponent. What are those? When the powers are like, you know, when the bases are same, you add the powers. But when the exponents are got divided, you minus the power. That's the same thing I'm going to do like something like a to the power m times a to the power n. We write it as a to the power m plus n in the similar way a to the power m divided by a to the power n. We write it as a to the power m minus n. OK, so that's what I do. So let's apply this. So first of all, before simplifying, if you look at to the number 4 and 3 are in the numerator and they got multiplied. So my numerator must have 4 times 3 is going to be 12. And look at to this a to the power minus 1 and a to the power 1 here. Nothing has written meaning a to the power 1 is there. All the terms are got multiplied. a to the power minus 1 times a to the power plus 1 which is something like a to the power minus 1 plus 1 and b to the power 3. So a to the power minus 1 plus 1 that turns to a to the power 0 and any number to the power 0 its value is 1 or you can simply straightforward cancel here itself not necessary to write and show so numerator i'll be getting it as uh, 12 b cube let's simplify the denominator a to the power 4 b to the power minus 2 b to the power 1 nothing has written means b to the power 1 is there so here a to the power 4 b to the power minus 2 plus 1 can be written as b to the power minus 1 and when you take this b to the power negative 1 up then it becomes 12 b to the power 3 plus 1 divided by a to the power 4 so what final answer you get 12 b to the power 4 by a to the power 4 which is option c so this is how the questions can be asked you can simplify it in any way okay i'm they're not necessary that i have you have to follow the same you might start with the simplifying the first term anything apply the rule carefully at the end definitely you'll be ending up with the right choice all right 